Okay, welcome to the third part of uh, using video tracker. So in today's uh, tutorial, this part will be actually uh, teaching you how to uh, do some basic analysis of um, your tracker. So after you have track, um, done the tracking, okay, of course you will see that the data are nicely plotted over here. So it's very important, of course, for you to uh, know what data you are analyzing for. Okay, so for example, if let's say you want to find out, uh, say regarding about the acceleration of the ball, okay, in terms of vertical, so what you need to do is to just double click, okay, double click on the uh, graph, okay, you have a larger version, okay, all of this graph, okay, there are several tools in the data, uh, sorry, the video tracker can actually help you to uh, do some uh, an, an analysis, but of course you actually you must know uh, some basic kinematics idea before you can uh, analyze. So again, some of the basic kinematics idea is that uh, velocity is the gradient of a displacement time graph, acceleration is the gradient of a velocity time graph, and displacement is the area under the graph of a velocity time graph. So having understood that, if you want to find out the acceleration of the uh, ball, say during at one second, okay, there are several things that you can do. Uh, one is actually you can measure the slope, which is the gradient, okay, and you find that at each individual point, they will actually, if you go to uh, say one second, okay, uh, roughly about one second, they will tell you about the uh, slope of this uh, graph, okay, or if you are interested to find out what's the slope over here, you can just point over here uh, at uh, 1.5 seconds, okay, to tell you what's the slope or any point of the slope at uh, any point in time, okay? So that is actually, you can measure slope, okay? You can also measure area under the graph. So for a velocity time graph, the area under the graph is actually the displacement. So right now you see that actually um, uh, this, okay, uh, this is the area under the graph that you find out. If you want to find out uh, different areas, okay, or at different time, you can actually uh, shift this uh, bar over here to tell you, okay, from from 0 0.6 seconds to roughly 1.4 seconds, the it has actually traveled um, roughly about uh, three negative, okay, 3.17, okay, uh, meters, okay, uh, or if you want to find out over here to uh, this point. Okay, it has traveled uh, 1.17 uh, meters, okay, based on the video uh, that you analyze. So you can actually use this to find area under the graph. Okay, or, okay one uh, common usage in terms of trying to find the gradient, instead of finding the gradient at each specific point, we usually try to do a curve fit. Okay, this one actually has a rough pattern of a straight line. So what we do, if you want to do a curve fit, usually we do analyze curve fit okay and you find that uh, well uh, you have a straight line but um, you uh, for this particular motion uh, it's actually broken down into uh, several parts where um, the ball actually rises okay and then after that it falls it bounces and then it falls so if you refer to the uh, if you look very carefully okay at the uh, motion okay maybe I'll just uh, go uh, go back and everything. Okay, you find that for the first part of the motion, um, the ball rises. Okay, but uh, this part is actually uh, under the influence of gravity as it goes to the highest point and then it falls straight down. Okay, so this part is actually uh, under the influence of gravity, so you can actually try to find. What is the acceleration at this part to find what is the uh, g? Okay, so uh, again, you go back to the uh, analysis. Okay, so uh, you want to find out this portion, which is under the influence of gravity, what is the uh, uh, acceleration g? And remember, the acceleration is the gradient of the uh, uh, velocity time graph. So therefore, in this case, uh, if you look very carefully, this is actually a, a straight line graph uh, following a form of y equals to mx plus c. Okay, uh, y equals to mx plus c. So in this case, a is actually a corresponding to m, which is the gradient. 
So it actually shows you a value of a negative 9.77. So it is actually quite an accurate uh, uh, tracking. Okay. So same thing over here, you find that uh, it's roughly about uh, a negative uh, 1.05, but it has e to the power 1, which means that's actually negative 10 okay, times 10. Okay, so this is actually you can uh, use this to uh, find the gradient, which actually of course means the acceleration. Okay, so generally, uh, these are some of the tools that can help you to uh, when you do uh, an analysis. And that's all for today. Yeah.